OSHA 1910-269 in its most recent revision had little room for debate in terms of how it addressed socks and underwear worn underneath of companies supplied uh, FR and arc rated clothing. So it's important to note that you do not have to wear arc rated or flame resistant uh, secondary or base layers under your company supplied PPE, but that base layer cannot be meltable. So EEI got together with OSHA and they came to a settlement agreement in February of 2015, which says that we must ensure that the elastic and the waistband and such of those garments is not exposed to heat energy that would cause it to melt or ignite. And that's simple enough to accomplish. If the outer arc rated layer has an arc rating that meets or exceeds the incident energy, then you wouldn't expect enough energy to get through that outer layer to cause that to happen. The second thing that it says is that those base garments cannot contain any of the prohibited fabrics, which are acetate, nylon, polyester, rayon, and polypropylene. As a final thought, flame-resistant and arc-rated base layers have come a very long way since the settlement agreement was reached a few years ago. They are lighter, they are softer, and they are less expensive than ever. And so we're starting to see a trend away from flammable base layers to arc-rated base layers, thus making the rest of this not relevant.